everyone, I'm Brian Adita. Today I'm going to talk about the elephant, the mighty strong elephant. Elephants are in two different types, the Asian elephant and the African elephant. The African elephants, well, live in Africa and have a smooth head, huge ears, big body, long trunk with two fingertips. Fingertips are the tip of the of an elephant and trunk with tiny like fingers to grab stuff and on roots with stuff. Elephants also travel long distances to find food and water. When they know there's, there's water underneath them but cannot reach it, they dig a deep hole with, containing water so first they can get a drink then other tired creatures passing by can also get a drink. And their trunks are amazing and they want to go underwater they can actually put their trunks over the surface and breathe while swimming like a snorkel and elephants and males have long tusks and females are starting not to have tusks so in the future female elephants should not have tusks males use their tusks to ram and each other and to protect their mates from any danger or to protect themselves uh, normally males are called bulls and young bulls are it's really frustrating being a young a bull because first your mom needs to teach you everything then your dad is the one who's leading the whole herd he's fending in off a group of lions and is trying to attack you the african elephant males are as tall as three meters and weigh six tons males only reach their full size at 35 to 40 years Wild elephants can live if up to 60 to 70 years. At birth, elephants can also weigh at 120 kilos. Elephants eat about 150 kilos of leaves, bushes, and anything they can find a day. And Asian elephants. The differences about African and Asian are not so well. How do I put this? Not so well. You're not really able to tell the differences really since they look Pretty similar. Asian elephants have bumpy heads, have, have two bumps on their heads, tiny ears, small bodies, and one finger. Elephants are very strong animals. They can push down a whole tree. Normally, but only if they uproot some here and there, it won't be, it will be easy for a re recover. But the situation got bad enough in South Africa for a biologist to be concerned. But keep in mind these, these gentle giants are, are move, moving into new territories because of the upgrowing fires and poachers. And you might think it's easy to find them. And, but it's close to impossible to find one elephant. I mean, I know you're scratching your head. How is an elephant not able to be seen by a human? Well, elephants don't really hide in the underbrush and don't come out often. And they're very smart. They can use trees like a barrier if some other elephant wants disturbing them. They can use trees like a barrier as a shield to shield them. And they are very intelligent. They use twigs to swat away flies. And they're as smart as a two-year-old and have feelings. That's why not you don't want to mess with an elephant's feelings unless you want to die. I mean, they weigh it like 1,000 pounds. Close to a ton they weigh. They are half a ton and at most half a ton. They would easily crush you into a pancake. You might think how do they drink water if they have such a long nose. Well, they first they suck the water into their nose, then point it in their mouth and drink from it. When they suck water from ponds, rivers, or anything, they can hold up to 8 liters of water in their trunk. Now you might be thinking how do elephant calves have drink? Well, they, they just bend their trunks over their head and bingo, mission succeeded. And elephants really they don't like any animal messing with them. If they see is something in bothering their calf and you're nearby, run away as fast as you can. Elephants do hate 
anything that wants to disturb them or their calf. And they'll do anything to protect their calf. So it's really dangerous to approach an elephant mother or any elephant and for that matter. If you want to approach an elephant, make sure it's not seen as a threat. If you disturb its calf, it's going to really trample you into more, into several different pancake pieces. And elephants normally are, are gentle giants, but when they are disturbed, run before you or trampled by a ton and weight of an elephant. And that's also why elephant calves hold their mother's tails. And surprisingly, the pygmy elephants still exist. Pygmy elephants are small elephants, which it's hold the record for the longest tail on any elephant. Their tails are so long that when they walk, always being dragged on the floor. Elephants are also herbivores which means they eat plants. They can eat tree leaves too. And no one knows where they give birth. Till this day, no one knows where elephants give birth. They are very intelligent animals, so they must have a secret place where they give birth, where no predator can find them. That's my theory. That's what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking that. What about you? Leave your comments below. Oh, and what do you think it is? And if an elephant faced off with, let's say, a lion? It's still actually depending on... Okay, let's put a male bull up against a male lion. First, the, male, the lion will attack. Then the bull, well, it's not gonna end nice. Then, and after the uh, lion tries to jump on, on, it slams the lion with its trunk and gives a tight slap eh, with its trunk to the lion. And tusk time, and it's not gonna be pretty at all. They are also known for chasing down safari vehicles. And, and there's a video online where an elephant chased a safari vehicle and hit his tr and hit her trunk against yes it was a female and hit her trunk against a metal bar and it broke off it broke off and elephants also have amazing memory their memory is so good that they can remember the ones that passed down and from their entry that's all for today. I hope you love this video. Have a very good, good week and make sure to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button and hit ring the notification bell so you're always notified when we post out a new video. Bye bye.